Hello. Today I'd like to talk with you about the most influential book uh, in my life, at least up to now. Uh, this is a book that I actually bought at a uh, bookstore in the early 90s. It's called The Geography of Nowhere by uh, James Howard Kunstler. And it's interesting, you know, with books, I'm an avid reader, as you can see behind me. Uh, you know, I uh, really enjoy reading. Uh, I'm always reading. I usually have one or two books I'm reading basically at the same time, at different times of the day. And I uh, really enjoy reading because uh, it enables me to take a break and really uh, think about things. I read a lot of nonfiction. I read a lot of history. I'll read fiction from time to time, but for the most part, you know, I really enjoy uh, uh, nonfiction, uh, autobiographies, biographies. Uh, books on politics, culture, current events, technology, business. But the one book that really, truly had an influence on me was uh, The Geography of Nowhere. And I actually bought the book at a small bookstore on a trip that I took up to Georgia, up to Amelia Island in Georgia. And this was in 93, 94 and I was kind of setting the course of, basically the course of my life, getting ready to go into uh, the upper levels of college to Florida State. And uh, this book encouraged me to uh, get into urban planning as a minor in college. And it truly uh, affected the way I look at the world around me because it looked at growth looked at the suburbs, the cities, American history, politics. Uh, and it was a very visionary book. And, you know, the author uh, has a website and a uh, great writer. I enjoy his work. Um, and it's the only book that I've read that, that truly could, in a way, you know, paint a picture of what ultimately has happened. I mean, here I am reading a book in 94, and uh, was it 10 years later, uh, an entire chapter of his book essentially is, is what's come to pass. Uh, you know, he talked about sustainable development, and the problems with suburban growth, and, you know, the limitations of, of uh, you know, business and, and growth the attempts at, at actually building up the economy, the the, uh, the, uh, the shortcomings of our current you know, economy and the wastefulness of some of the rampant consumerism and land usage. And, you know, I went to Florida State uh, and I studied uh, government, local government, uh, not only just politics, but local government, urban planning, uh, transportation planning, land usage, uh, decision making, strategic management, strategic planning. And that whole course of study, once again, set out by this book that truly, um, truly uh, inspired me. You know, it still does, even though my, the way I, uh, for lack of a better phrase, the way I make money uh, isn't in urban planning. Uh, it, it has truly impacted, uh, you know, the way I see the world and you know what what I'd like to envision the world to to be. You know, it, it's we live in that that 1950s 1960s world. Here we are in the 2011. And we're having to deal with the consequences. And these are the consequences that were outlined in his book. You know, we built, you know, our, here in the United States, built our environment around the car and around the concept of cheap gas. And now here we are, uh, February, going into March of 2011. And we're once again having to think about, you know, the price that we pay. Uh, just simply to move ourselves from point A to point B, to go to and from work. You know, the costs that are high, and uh, 
you know, the maintenance that our governments have to expend. You know, it. When I read the book, you know, I I saw the world in, in a different way. You know, and uh, I uh, give a lot of thanks to the author. You know, um, he really wrote a fascinating book, and it really uh, uh, had a good you know impression on me having. You know, at the time being in community college, having come out of high school, and really trying to grasp what I wanted to do, and you know, ultimately I think that my life would have been different if I had maybe majored in urban planning instead of minoring. But I was fascinated with government politics, and you know, that took me where it took me, and and ultimately now I'm I'm in the financial sector, uh, and you, know, you never know. I I tried to interview. Uh, for an urban planning job in uh, in Orlando, but there were a lot of limitations so far as what uh, what was possible uh, for work in government. And uh, you know, it, it's um, it's amazing, you know, what one book can do, you know, uh, and how one book can kind of shape your your view of things. But truly, a visionary book. I would definitely recommend reading it. You know, there are a lot of other books out there I'll talk about. Uh, and, you know, I'd like to use this video to go ahead and announce that I'm kickstarting a, a brief series. I don't know where it will take me, but a brief series uh, among my other series that are out there, my Jacksonville politics series and my European travel series. This will be my third series. It's going to look at urban planning, looking particularly at the city of Jacksonville. And I'll... Uh, I'm going to start talking next week or the week after, next two weeks or so. Let's we'll start talking about spatial fix and the problems that we face with the unsustainable suburban landscape that we have and the price that we're going to have to pay and the, the things we're going to have to do to, to truly make the system work. You know, I'm not one of these ivory tower people who thinks that, that everyone should live in a, you know, a high rise and, you know, be right around the corner from a Starbucks that they can walk to. You know, we built for a hundred years, built around the concept of driving and the, and the car and cheap gas. But we're going to have to retrofit in the future. You know, I may be in my mid thirties, and you know, I I may have not necessarily had the start of my career that I had envisioned in the early to mid nineties, but you know. Provided I have good health, which I'm sure I have, uh, looking into the future, you know, I think that you know, the book <laughs> has not been completely written on where my future will take me. So if there's a book that's inspired you, by all means, you know, comment uh, below uh, uh, or uh, upload a reaction. If you've read this book and you have some ideas or you know you want to talk please uh, upload and uh, subscribe to The Left Turn, and then YouTube will just send you each week uh, my series. Uh, and uh, if you have some suggestions, let me know. You know, uh, uh, this channel is what you make it. Uh, I'm open to a lot of different suggestions. And I uh, hope that you're out there enjoying this. And, and if you have any ideas, by all means, please let me know. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Left Turn. See you later. Bye.